Well, we saw that this was unstable, even though it did have a streamer in it for weighting the nose down. So the answer when you have an unstable rocket, well, there's two. One is you can add some weight to the nose. The uh, High Flyer, the small one, and the Honest John are two examples where they put clay in the nose. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a, uh, a body tube and a coupler and just simply put back the uh, missing section. The missing section was about 7 inches, but with the length of this cord, it looks like I can squeeze about 9 inches on this and still have room for the original uh, shock cord on here. Or not shock cord, this is the recovery cord. <laughs> um, and let me go ahead and put that together because I think it's going to look nice. It's going to be just a standard high flyer XL with about uh, an extra 2 inches in length. Trim this. Okay, so one enhancement that I made is that I glued the Kevlar cord onto the side of the coupler. And I've been doing this a lot more on almost all my rockets. If it does have a coupler in the middle, um, the reason I glued this into the, onto the coupler is that the cord now is stretched completely tight along the side of the body tube all the way down to the engine mount. So this cord is mounted on the engine mount. And when you do that and you start winding this up for flight, the cord is not going to be pushed on top of the engine. So when the engine goes off with the ejection charge, many times it will actually burn through the Kevlar cord and, and make it fray so badly that it just snaps. Um, so the, all this is is just some CA glue that I put a piece of paper towel over it and I just squished it down until it was nice and tight. And then this dries in about, about an hour. So again, the whole idea is to increase reliability, keep the cord away from the ejection charge. And then when I get this prepped for flight, I can stuff plenty of wadding down in here and I can be sure that the cord is not going to be um, in the way of the ejection charge and get cooked. Okay, uh, two quick tips before I glue everything together. I've got the tube and the rocket. And for the rocket, as I just commented, I have glued the cord directly to the inside of the coupler. But now you see this goes in and it comes out the bottom. And I'm doing this so that uh, this cord now is out of the way. So when I glue this on, I don't glue the cord <laughs> inside of the rocket. So this is a really nice way to keep you from gluing the cord inside accidentally. The other thing I've done is I've added some CA glue on the um, top of the, of the uh, tube here. Uh, the CA glue will stiffen this up, make it nice and rid rigid, stiff and solid. And I've never had a rocket zipper, tear or damage on the front ever since I've been doing that. So again, a little bit of uh, strengthening on the front of the tube will go a long way. And there it is, all glued on. I'm going to give this about a half hour to dry. I don't want it to shift or anything to change its position. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put it in my drying rack and let this dry for about a half hour. 